Well, ladies and gentlemen, this is Saturday, May the 12th. This is a follow-up to a video I made a little while ago about Hasbrana power saws. And I've been a Hasbrana power saw owner all my life. That's the only saw I've ever bought. I've had several power saws in the days when I worked in the bush to the days I had this property. And that saw over there is a very old saw. It's a Hunt Saslerna 154 SE, which you can't even buy parts anymore. That's cut several hundred cord of wood. And it still runs to this day. This is what I've been using for the last, oh, three months, I guess. I bought this saw, this Husqvarna Rancher 460, in 2009, after my separation, before my ex-wife got all my funds and everything I owned. And it was stored at my parents' place, so my ex-wife never got it. Now this saw sat there for many years in the box. And it was never used until the summer of 2017, which was last summer. And the only reason why I did that is the pull cord broke on that one there. And I didn't have money to even buy a pull cord. So I went and I got this saw from my parents' place in town, in Thunder Bay, and I brought it out here just to cut some brush, as I said in the other video. Just lucky if this saw has two, three hours on it. Cut a little bit of brush and I cut up a couple of bundles that fit in the back of a half ton of sawmill slabs. And on the second, third bundle, it was part way through it, just to recap my last video, it was part way through one cut through the bundle and I just went clunk clunk and stopped dead, never to start again. I took it to one dealer and he wanted $169 or $179 just to look at it. Well, I didn't have that kind of money, so a friend of mine mentioned another dealer in Kekebeka Falls that would look at it for 40 seven dollars so I he took it in there for me he paid the forty seven dollars to have it looked at and when we went back to pick it up the mechanic told us that he did a compression test on it and the saw is finished he doesn't know what's wrong with it he said the cylinder from looking at the spark plug hole the cylinder wall looks fine he says it's possible the seal blew out in the crank so we paid $47 in tax just for him to do a compression test. He said it wasn't worth tearing the saw down as it wouldn't be worth fixing. So he didn't do it. He didn't take any part to even find out what's the matter with it. So I don't even know what's the matter with it. My friend who also uses, uses Husqvarna saws all his life took the decompression button out and tested it and still no compression and uh, we thought maybe the decompression button screwed up but still it didn't make any difference so I can't get warranty on this saw because it was past its warranty to sat in the box for years until 2017 I bought it in 2009 and uh, I just used it, I guess it was towards the midsummer of last year. When I used it to cut a little bit of brush and a couple of small pop, uh, not poplar trees, a couple of small, well, poplar brush actually, but a couple of small six inch spruce uh, balsam trees that were on the fence line, electric fence lines, and a little bit of firewood. That's it. So I saw a cut and then I quit. So talking with the mechanic there. My understanding is Husqvarna is 
throwaway saws unless you buy the really expensive ones in the professional grades. They're throwaway saws. I didn't know that when I bought this saw. But it's strange out of all the saws I've owned, I've never ever had a problem like this with a Husqvarna saw. They've all lasted for years. Like that one to this day is still running. I still use it today. But it, for me, it was too heavy on my back just to cut brush on a fence line or cut a little bit of slabs of firewood. Yeah, the paint all came off the bar, but it looks like it's been used lost. But no, that paint came off and the first day I used it. It's like, you know, when they paint a car on a Friday, you know, it's a Friday, they forget the primer and they just paint it and send it out the door and all the paint on the hood peels off. Well, that's basically how that bar went. Like that bar and that saw there is old. It's been, that bar has been on there probably 25 years. And it doesn't look half as bad as this bar. It's still the original bar, original chain on that saw, on this saw right here. So, beware. I can't afford to buy another saw, so I'm stuck using that heavy clunker over there on my back. But it's a shame that this $700 saw, Canadian, is junk after two or three hours of use. Like I say, shame on you, Husqvarna, and your dealers that say it's not worth taking it apart to see what's the matter with it, other than doing a compression test and charging you $47. I think if I ever had the money again, I would go, I would try a steal. But 47 years, I've had nothing but Husqvarna saws, and they've all been good up until this one. And all my saws cut lots of big wood, hundreds of cords. This one here didn't even cut a half a cord. Didn't even cut a third of a cord. A tenth of a cord. A little bit of brush and a couple of little bundles of sawmill slabs. So that's just a little warning. Um, well, ladies and gentlemen, this is Saturday. I know I don't have the money to buy another May saw. the 12th. 